Hey there, wonderful people. Welcome back to the channel. Hope all is well. So we did a little cruising around just to get a lay of the land in this wonderful Mustang. Um, I'll try to link the creator in the name of the mod below. So if you like it, please download it. All right, we're gonna head back through the town here just to look at some of the things that they have around here. There's a couple factories over here. It's more like the center of the town. I mean, if you're familiar with Elm Creek, you, you'll be familiar with this little area. Now, Stevie, as I said, modified this map. So a few things are different here. But overall, you know, the, the layout of the central part of the map is largely the same. All right, a little construction up here. We're passing the dairy right now. All right, folks, it is time. It is time to start our journey. Stepping, stepping into things. So what we need to do, we need to get some land. Actually, we just need to get an area to start up our business. Now, we're not going to immediately jump into farming. Like I said, we're going to support the local farmers by doing some contracts at least first. But I really want to focus on the um, logistics a bit more starting out and potentially some technology advancements. So what we're going to do, we're going to go buy some land. I discussed it in the intro episode a little bit of what I think we should buy. So I'm going to go check that out right now. So it's a little area near the shop. Clever Motors. So we'll go get that. See how much it costs and buy. And then, yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, get a building put up, a shop. Contractor style building, we'll get that. And then we'll start looking for some work. Because we're going to spend some money. But we'll have to start bringing some money back in. Takes money to make money. But sometimes you can start off without. And still do very well. Alright. So we're coming up on it. We'll go around the side entrance here. Because I think all of this is the same land. Indeed it is. Okay. Okay. All right, so this is our area that we were talking about a little earlier in the intro episode. As you can see, a big old vast, flat, already uh, concreted area. And there's a massive field right behind us. Maybe there's a contract for it. Uh, it looks like maybe some cereal crop is in it now. Um, what I really liked about this area, though, is that there is already a logistics building right on the premises and that is going to be ours once we buy it. American Produce Logistics, perfect. Has some bays here for loading up semi trucks because we're going to have some of those. I'm very interested in this area right beside us also. You see in the background there, there's a few silos and also an area right there that's for sale. Now, I think, well, I don't think we'll own this great business right here. Yeah, that's not a part of the, the deal, but we could actually buy it if I'm not mistaken. But let's go ahead and get to it. All right. All right, let's go ahead and purchase our first piece of land. 8.15 in the morning. All right, let's see here. So we are way over here, according to my phone. Everything's, you know, you can do everything by phone. So you guys are looking at my screen now. Hmm. Let's go ahead and look at farmland. It is area 91, farmland. That's what they call it, farmland. 5.72 hectares, value 
farm sim dollars. Mm hmm. All right, let's do it. We are the owners of this wonderful piece of land. There's a warehouse down there. There's the Elm Creek uh, tower there. Like looks like a water tower. Um, all right, next step, let's buy us a building, all right? I think I'm gonna put it over here. We'll get the contractors out. They're really quick. They can like literally pull it up in like seconds. <laughs> but yeah, we'll put it over here. Let's see. What, what shall we go with? I think this area here. And I kind of want a contractor style. Mm. Oh, can I not rotate this? Oh, there we go. I was about to say. Yeah, I kind of want. Should we just get a. That's nice. That's nice. But I kind of want a showroom esque style. Good lord. Oh, man. This is awesome. Yeah, I think we're going to go with this. Yeah. I think this is the one we're going to go with. And I think we're going to put it about here. Mm. So I want some areas on both sides. Yeah. Think about like that. And I think... I think there's a color choice we can go with. Let me hit my F1 menu. Let's go with something kind of bright. Let's see, where's my oh, N and M? So let's see here. Hmm. Eh, well, let's see. Let's cycle through all the colors. Okay, I think we got them all. That looks clean. Just nice, kind of white. The gray is a little, it looks nice too though. Kind of matches the rest of the area. I think since it's gonna be like a highlight building. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll go with that. Uh, let's see, how far, well, we wanna park stuff in the back. Have snapping on, yeah. I think we'll go with something like, hmm, let me make sure. I'm kind of OCD about placement and, and, and things like that. So forgive me. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think there, yeah. We're just gonna go ahead and go for it. Would you look at that? That looks wonderful. All right, everybody, what do you think? The contractors, like I said, work extremely fast. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, yes, let's, let's open it up. Ah, look at this. This is great. We have lights in here too. Look at that. We can cut them on. It's a remote control. We can cut it on with our phone or there is a separate remote. It has those two front doors right there, as you saw. We have these doors. We have a bit of an office area, but I don't think we can go in these doors. No, we can't. But we have a bit of an office area. So we can do some, some work. We can have like a, if we ever get some employees, which I think we may, just, you know, an appreciation day or something, you know, something like that for the cool people. We have this back entrance here and enough space to store some things on the back. There's a back door also here for, you know, people entrance, not necessarily tractor entrance or equipment entrance, but it is there. Oh, and as you might have seen, it has solar panels on the top, which I love renewable energy and any options for that. Can we see it from here? A little bit, you can kind of see it. All right, fantastic. And there is kind of like a little show area here too. I might put some light poles up in here, oh, in this area, up in here. But um, yeah, step one, complete check, Amundo. Now we spent quite a little bit of money but that's okay. We're still, we're still sitting very well. You know, we're doing 
doing very well. So we'll leave this open. We have security around here. There are cameras and everything installed, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, there's nothing in there. So we'll be okay. We'll leave those open. Mm. Now, another thing that is very good about this area here is very close to the railroad station. So that's why I'm interested in also buying these silos across the way here. So, yeah. We'll look into all that stuff, too. Um, let's drive around it just to take a look really quick here and let's see what we got. I think it's okay to drive here. Yeah. If not, somebody will let me know. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, there's another area over here. Do not stop on the tracks. Oh, of course not. I'm pretty sure this, yeah, train comes from that way, so I think we're clear. But we'll get on across it. Yeah, I think we'll also invest in this. But that'll be down the way. Maybe soon, maybe, maybe a little far out, but no, not too long. Yeah. All right. Now, this wonderful vehicle here. Oh, I am going a little quick. Excuse me. Slow on down there. All right. So we're going to go and return this wonderful vehicle that we rented. And it is time to start getting into some business. We got to start doing some work. So I think I'm going to look at the contracts. There are some local contracts um, I saw on the app. We'll go ahead and uh, look into all that stuff also. This car has been fantastic. Oh man, I really like it. Very great, very great. All right, let's go back. Parker over here. Uh, I still have that Lambo. Somebody's coming to get that thing probably. All right. Thank you, wonderful vehicle. Um, look at that, I didn't even notice that. The irony is great. <laughs> it's a little Mustang for a Mustang. Oh, that's great. All right. <clears throat> so Clever Motors has been phenomenal. Phenomenal. Right. So we're going to go over here and we got to get a work truck. All right. And I have a few that I can choose from. Let's go and talk to the dealer here and see what we can do about getting us a work truck. All right, so work trucks are gonna be in this regular cars category. I think, I think, I think I definitely wanna go diesel. Let's look at a couple. We'll just do a cursory glance. So. If I were to go with a single cab, like Chevy, I would get the long bed so we can haul some stuff, longer items. It's very nice. 28K for that. Now these are some diesels and I really like Ram. Like, eh, don't tell anybody. I like, I like, like, like all things, like all the vehicles. But I'm leaning towards that. Um, it will need dualies. I think there's an option for duals. We'll check that, but this is just looking. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have a 3500 Chevy HD heavy duty. Ooh, bed liner looking good. Nice suspension for kind of off road travel. Looks very nice. Very nice. And Duramax, a very good engine. Like those too. Like them all. We could get a V6 or a V8 Ford, you know, F 150. Well, Definitely probably get the V8 as the bed liner also. Um, oh, this is a nice 350 single cab. That looks good. Very nice. All oh, these are fantastic. Oh, look at that. That's a huge sunroof panoramic there. What was that 6.2, no, 6.7 liter power stroke. Hmm. That will likely tow quite a bit. Looks very good. 
High Country, we have a GMC Denali. Looks good also. Ooh, very shiny. <laughs> oh boy, this is some premium packages here. That one's up there pretty well too. Again, very nice. You know what? I think we're gonna start with that Dodge. Ooh, there's some service trucks. More Fords, uh, some Jeeps, and some other equipment. There's some older Chevys here, C50s. But I still think we're gonna stay with my original choice. Let's let's get the uh, the Ram. This one right here, diesel. So we have the 6.7 liter Cummins. So it's very, very well known for pulling quite a bit. Um, we'll get, yeah, we'll get the automatic. Just make it a little easier. I love manual, but we'll, we'll get the automatic for this case. Uh, <clears throat> wheels, let's see if we got duels. We have duels. Yes, indeedy. Steel, what was the difference here between these? Oh, single cab and that, okay. We'll get the steel. Well, I do like those. The Chrome Limited. I spoke. Um, we'll stick with the Chrome Limited. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, da -da -da -da, the grill. Kind of like the stripes. Ooh, the heavy D looks good. Premium. Uh, that keeps from my. Uh, well, we'll go with that. I like that. Steps, gotta have some steps. <laughs> New grandpa steps, those do look like the grandpa steps. Though a little older, older school, no going there. Um, but I think I'm just gonna go with modern step, maybe? That's a bit large and in charge. Let's go, I guess, with the large step. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. Need somewhere, you know, if you're gonna have work boots, need a lot of area so you can step up there. Got to get the mud flaps. Now we don't have the rear mud flaps because that's going to come with the bed that we're going to buy, but they're up there. That's definitely going to help keep things a little cleaner. Exhaust system. So we're probably going to put a flatbed on here. So we'll get that exhaust. It moves it over just slightly to be able to tuck in there. Uh-huh. Radio antenna. Mm, yeah, we, that's, that's cool. I like it. It moved it to right there. A little sleep, you know, uh, less likely if we're going through like tree branches to get torn off. So that'd be good. But bug visor, I mean, sure, why not? I like it. Grill guard, that will come in handy. Yeah, if we need to push, you know, like I said, branches or something around, we don't get that. Attacher cycle till appear. I don't know what that means. Hmm. So we'll leave it on standard. Um, I haven't seen a lot of snow yet, but if we need to, we can add a plow bracket. The colors. Oh, we have two-tone. Okay, so at the top, I think I'm going to stick with the... Every work truck I see is like white. So there's Oxford white and performance white. Daisy white. Oxford white too. Let's try with performance white. What does that look like? That, that does that does look pretty good. Even with the two tone down here, but that's slightly different. That's an Oxford white. Let's see what that looks like with performance white. I think I think I'm gonna stick with because that's oh that's kind of like a silvery white. So I like that. Yeah, that's nice. Oof, there's a lot of a lot of choices here. If you want to do bumper color, you can. I think, think I'll go with a matched bumper. Nope, that's not the matched color. I don't think we have the matched color. Oh, there it is. What do you guys think about that? Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, mirror housing, we got these. I'm gonna keep those black for now. Grill inside color. Chrome. Oh, it does stand out a bit more. Yeah, we'll we'll leave it chrome. And you could do the grill color also. You no, know, the area around it, but I kind of like 
this mm, kind of seems more work truck e to me. 69,580 bucks. <clears throat> Bought. We got it, y'all. First truck. Boom. Now, you said our truck doesn't have a bed on it. We hit combinations down here. Let's get us a bed. Now, they have several options, as you can see. I think we're going to get the... Hmm, we can get... Because we have a dual rear wheel. That's what that DRW stands for. And the SRW is single rear wheel. Let's see what the dual wheel uh, duals look like here. Yeah, it's nice. Actually, very nice. But it... You can tow here, but I want access to the fifth wheel hitch so we can tow goosenecks. So we have a removable CM flatbed. What is that? Hmm, looks nice. Uh, let's see. Deal the dual. That's a good size flatbed. And I think we'll. Hmm. Can you have the attack? No. Ooh, that's nice. Fuels and steps. Okay, yeah, we got the pencil and the gooseneck. There's the gooseneck, and we also have this. Oh, that's the pencil, sorry, excuse me. That's the pencil back here, and that's the gooseneck right there. Good wide flat bed for all kinds of things. And uh, hmm, there's a hot shot bed. Now, hot shot trucking is dealing with a lot of logistics, so it would make sense. So that's where you use like a, a truck like we just bought, half ton, three quarter ton, size category truck, and you just you know move things wherever. Like you could be a, delivering a car, could be delivering equipment, could be delivering cereal. Who knows? But you have these contracts, and that's what you do: hot shot trucking. You know what? I think we'll, since we're going to be doing that, so we have to do a real, rear wheel hotshot bed. We'll try it. We'll do, we'll get this. I mean, the bed can be changed. We're going to get the toolbox. Got to have that because, you know, never know when you might need to fix something on the road. I, well, I don't know if we need these mud flaps because we have these arch kind of covers here. So I'm going to leave that off. Make sure we can get all the stuff. Yes, indeed we can. And if we need to, we can uh, install a fifth wheel, but I think just the gooseneck, which is that little ball in the middle, that'll do us for now, because I think we're going to buy that. There's also a color choice here. Oh, Line X. Hmm. I like the none, like the, the grippy type of material. Yeah, we'll get it. Yeah, we'll do that. And another 5,660 bucks. Wonderful. All right, where's our truck? Where, oh, there's our truck. Yay. 72,000, I'm sorry, 75, 240 all together. Ooh, very nice. Ooh, this is fantastic. And I think this also has simple IC. So how do I cut that on on here? Oh, there we go. So simple IC, there are quite a few options. So that opens up the back, the sliding, door there's nothing else here that opens something i think that's the hood oh that is the hood and we can activate we can activate tow mode hmm, i thought there's another one oh ooh, that's activating tow mode that folds it out cool stuff we're gonna leave it in tow mode because we're gonna tow and you can let down the windows if you want see it's hard to see but that window went down and it going going back up so you can do all the windows great so let's go see <clears throat> this wonderful engine Ooh, look at there i like our purchase i think our purchase is very good there's a turbo on this side it's an inline six cylinder commons at the c there and it's just a shaking it's all that horsepower it's hard to hold it down it's trying to hold down the horsepower <laughs> Uh, that's great. That's fantastic. This is a great mod. Um, I'll try to link that also in the description if you are interested. All right. I see. Simple I see that is can go off. All right. <clears throat> Here's our bed. We'll hook that up. And we'll park it 
Well, attach it. Ah, nice. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Looking good. We'll let that warm up a little bit. You gotta let the diesels warm up, you know, get all the temperatures right. Oh, we have some nice shocks in here. So we can do some off-roading. All right, while that's doing the warm-up thing. Hmm. That's our start. Let's see. Let's take a look. There's a bulletin board. Let's see if we can find some work. Cultivating, harvesting. Hmm. Let's see. Ooh, there's a lot of supply and transport here. These gives them, these give me ideas because as you can see, there's quite a bit of money in those. So we don't have any equipment. But we what we could do, we could borrow their equipment. All right. Borrow items. Like for in this case. That's a big old field, though. And that looks like a McCormick. Yeah, 37. Let me look at our map and see what 37. Where is 37? I think 37 is a big old field, though. 36. So 30. No, it's not that big. Hmm. Nice area over here, too. Um, let's, let's do it. Yeah, we'll do that contract. And this is just to get our name kind of out there. It's, it's cultivating. It'll let us drive this tractor, you know, and get back, at, back into the swing of things of uh, farming, right? So we'll accept that contract. Oh, dang it. You know what? <laughs> I did not say, oh, well. What I have to do is get something. I have to rent it. So this is going to cost us some money. That was a mistake on my part. My apologies. But you know what? You live and learn, right? What we'll do, we'll go park our truck over at our shop. And we'll go find a tractor to do this job. There were some tractors out there. So maybe they'll let us borrow something. Okay, see you guys in a second. Let me go talk to the folks. Alrighty, so I did talk to the crew in there, right? And they told me to come take a look at this. So now this Massey Ferguson has 225 horsepower, kind of chunky boys on the back. And they told me they also had a you know, we'll, they have some plows. Let's let's because we're cultivating. So let's find some either a disc harrow or something of that nature from their catalog here. See if they have it. So 225 horsepower is what we're going to be trying to match up. Let's see. Uh, cultivator, uh, this harrow, 225 horses, we want a fairly substantial oh, that is up there. You know, that horsepower rating kind of varies a little bit. I mean, you can probably get away with a little bit more. Let me double check our contract, make sure I'm not misunderstanding. Yep, we're just doing cultivating, right? So, yeah, we'll look in there. Cultivators, let's look in there really quick. Hmm. The Prolander 7,500, it's very close. We're at 5.1 tons, let's see. 
I think that'll be a good match. I mean, it's a a little out of the horsepower range for that tractor, but I think it'll pull it just fine. So let's lease that. Alrighty. And we'll give them some money once we get back for leasing this tractor. They told me it was okay. They were actually kind of excited. According to them, this area has been, you know, slowing down farming wise, but it's starting to pick back up. So all of this is helping. Ooh, that looks big for this tractor, doesn't it? But we're going to give it a shot. We'll see. The Massey Ferguson, fantastic vehicle. We'll cut on our beacons. Like I said, we've had experience, you know, driving tractors and doing farming and all that stuff. So we know, we know our stuff. All right, we're gonna drive over there and I'll see you in a second. All right, we are starting to approach the field now. Um, I gotta figure out how to get to the field without driving through somebody's yard. I think we can turn on that road right down the way there. It looks like the entrance to that field area. Yeah, there's a road there, so we'll see. Yeah, that looks like it right here. Oh yes, oh yash indeed. All right, cut our beacons off. That was a nice size feel. There's a slight incline up that way. I didn't account for that particularly. But um, this is a four wheel drive tractor, so we should be okay. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're looking okay. All right, forecast looks like rains are coming. Oh no, it's just cloudy, sorry. Like clouds are coming. <laughs> so should be good. Um, let's go ahead and get that done. Oh yeah, pulls it out of problem. All right, I'm gonna time lapse this and I'll see you guys in a few.
Hey, hey folks. All right, we're getting this done. So we just have the headland to do. And that should be it for this particular contract. Okay. And let's see here. We'll go ahead and get her done. Actually, let me check the contract. It's probably, probably done. Let's see. Oh, 98%. Thoroughness, we have to be thorough. And I missed a good bit there, but I'm trying to check something on the contracts. I typically said save the headlines for last anyway to kind of neaten up the edges. Yep, think this will get her. All right, so what's the next step? Hmm. Next steps are just to find more work. Um, I did have a text that popped up and there is potentially some work for us uh, evolving an excavator and moving something hauling some dirt perhaps i need to look at it but we'll likely cover that in the next episode oh yeah i've just said that we finished this contract up here in the upper right hand corner but we're going to finish this anyway we're going to just go ahead and uh, get all the edges and finish it this massey ferguson has performed phenomenally and great Yep, it um, didn't have any issues coming up this grade or this slight slope that is. Um, this this field is relatively flat and it's very square, so it's a very nice field. But yeah, Massey Ferguson. No, Daddy One loves these things and, and I, I do too. <laughs> They're great. Uh, man. been a long time since I've done some farming and um, very enjoyable very enjoyable indeed very scenic very beautiful yeah love it Now we're coming along the back stretch and that will conclude this particular contract. Yes, I did make a mistake. I did not utilize the owner of the field's uh, equipment, but in the end, we got the job done. I think we're probably, Ooh, let me look and see. I don't, I'm, I'm gonna take a guess, but we're still in the, in the green, meaning that we still made a profit from it. Would have profited a bit more if if I didn't make that mistake but no biggie all right we'll fold that up and while that's folding up I'll go into my app you're gonna pay us via the contracts app let's see so seven thousand seven hundred fifty seven think it cost us maybe what what was that like 1500 something to rent this I'm probably going to have to contribute another I don't know, six seven hundred bucks for the wonderful Massey Ferguson that is the s7720 Dyna 6 um yeah so we still about five grand in the green close to that most likely but I think that'll conclude for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Hope you have a good day. Until next time, see you again. Take care.